In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can stay organized with tags in SketchUp. Now, this is super important. We've got lots of stuff that we're going to be doing in this project. You're going to end up with a house. It could look something like the one here on the screen, and so we need to keep organized. And it starts from the very beginning. Obviously, at this point, we are in a spot where we just made a bunch of shapes, including our name. And um, what is really important to note here is that um, these are right now all on what's called the same layer or the same tag. And um, if we were going to turn off that layer or that tag, it would turn off the entire document. There is, is no way of, um, of turning off just certain parts at the moment, but we need to be able to do that for our house. So this is a very important skill. What I'm gonna have us do is put our name including the first name, last name in its own tag, okay? And so without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. Over here on the right side of the screen, right above the clapboard, right, so we're, we're talking about, sorry, that way, uh, right up there is a button that looks like a tag that might be on a shirt on display at the store. And when we click that tag, this comes up at the top. It says tags and then the only tag here is untagged because we haven't done any organization yet for our document. And so what I want us to do right now, pretty straightforward, is we're going to be making a new tag. And right above me right there, we can just click that plus and it's called tag one, but I don't wanna call it tag one. Let's click that and rename it your name. And just to make sure that we know how to change the color of the tag, I want your name to be purple. So click the color swatch there again, right here next to name. You're gonna click the color swatch, change the color to purple. I don't care if it's your favorite shade of purple, but I want it to be purple just so that I can see that you know how to change the color. Now, in order to change any of these and put them on that tag for our name, um, we need to first select the part that we wanna move. And in order to do that, from the arrow at the top called the Select tool over on the left side of the screen, over there, we can then make a bounding box around our name. And here, we don't have to do it all together, but we can, but we don't have to. Um, here I've got my first name selected, and up here at the top, there is an option that says Apply Current Tag to Selection. Apply current tag to selection. When you click that, um, it will put whatever you have selected in whichever of these two tags you have highlighted. Well, right now I have untagged highlighted, so I need to click and highlight name, okay? And I'm gonna click that blue pencil over on the right side to highlight name. Now that name selected, when I click this one, it's the dotted square with the tag in it, apply current tag to selection. Now I've got this is part of name. And the way I know that is if I turn off untagged by clicking the eyeball, if I turn off untagged by clicking the eyeball, everything else goes away. Well, obviously there's something missing. What do we still need to tag? Yeah, our last name. So I'm going to again, grab the select tool, the arrow at the top called the select tool. That happens to be a vocabulary word this week and we're going to select our surname, our last name. Just like we did before, make sure that name is the selected tag at the top, and then press that same button, apply current tag to selection. And now once we do that, it doesn't really look like anything happens, but we sure know that something happened when we turn off the untagged layers. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. What I need you to do right now is turn off the untagged layer so I know that what you did worked. Go ahead and rename the file. Okay, you can actually make a copy at this point so we don't um, override anything. I'm just going to have you click the three uh, lines up at the top up there. Go to save as. This is SketchUp 3. Stay organized with tags. I'm just gonna call it tags is fine. And it can go right in my SketchUp folder so I can stay organized. Once I've done that, open up the snipping tool, make a new snip, whole screen, top to bottom, so that I can see the name, so that I can see that you have name selected 
untagged is turned off the eyeball is off you don't have to highlight anything but i also want to see the date and time once you do that come on back file save as save this file in an organized spot on your computer when you go back into teams click that sketchup tab up at the top in the sketchup tab we're going to go assignment three stay organized with tags first name last name id number choose the file Again, as always, make sure the ID number is correct. That's how you get your grade from the form into Atlas. As always, if you have any questions, I would be glad to help you out in any way I can. Please send me a private message in chat or ask your question in class. If it's during class time, come on back right now. Unmute, ask your question. Chances are, if you've got a question, other people have the exact same question. So don't be scared about asking. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, everybody.